All right, guys, Delzinski here, and today I am talking WWE 2K16 because, as you all know by now, I had the opportunity to play the game firsthand yesterday at a 2K press event. Now, you've probably all seen my video regarding the interview that I did with Bryce at the press event, and I feel to start this video, I need to clear something up because the question has been quite a lot is why, 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 why didn't you talk about universe mode? Why didn't you ask Bryce about that mode? Well, first of all, the event was about the 2K showcase and my career. We had a presentation which heavily featured both of those modes. And in addition to that, it did touch on create an arena and create a superstar but it didn't really go near universe mode. So when I asked those questions, it was based on the presentation that we had. And as well, I think it's worth noting, at that point, I knew I was gonna play the game anyway. So I would get the opportunity to look at universe mode in a bit of detail as well. But that was gonna be after the interview. So that was why it wasn't covered. And I hope that clears things up because a lot of people seem to think that I just kind of, you know, lucked out and didn't, didn't bother asking the question. It's not like that. It's just a case of that I knew I was going to get to have a look after I'd done my interview. And speaking of universe mode, I think let's just talk about that first because why would I neglect universe mode? It's like a main feature on my channel. It's going to be something I'm interested in. If it works better for, you know, on WW2K16, that's better for me, that's better for you. So, yeah, let's talk about universe mode. And I'm going to be honest with you. Just having a glimpse at it going into the mode and bearing in mind we didn't get that much time. So for me, being a first time playing the game, I wanted to just play matches and get a feel of the game. But looking at universe mode briefly, there hasn't really been too much of a change there. It still feels quite the same of what we've had in previous years. And that's just being honest. I couldn't notice anything major that's changed. That's not to say that it hasn't got better for creators who want to make universe mode, for people that want to do something like Saturday Night Main Event. Because now with the option of having create an arena and create a show, this opens the door to numerous possibilities. And just by looking at create an arena, we have a ton of options at our disposal. I was always thinking that possibly we might not change the SNME arena, but now playing the game and seeing the vast amount of options we've got to change the entrance way, to change the ramp, to then go down to the ring, to actually have the uh, the LCD board if we want it. And I thought possibly they'd take that away for creating arena. You just have the standard apron, but no, you can keep the LCD board. Um, it It's endless and it's back and it's good and it's great for universe mode. So having that create an arena combined with create a show, it really gives you the perfect place for a universe. The only issue is, like I said, universe mode doesn't look like it's changed very much. But if you're doing something like I do with Saturday Night Main Event, it's a massive positive to have create a show and create an arena at your disposal because you can really make your universe mode unique. And surely that's what we all strive for. So that is what I'm pointing out to you guys. Using that, create a show, if you don't know much about it, well, it gives you the ability to make custom nameplates, uh, the banners, the show art. So for example, if I have Kevin Owens versus Daniel Bryan, I can change the background, how it's meant to look, um, you know, apply my own logos to it. Um, I can just go full throttle. And that's something that we haven't had the opportunity to do. So you really are able to make the perfect show. And that's my view on it from looking at it briefly. It's the additions of Create a Show and Create an Arena that have made the big improvements. Universe Mode hasn't changed very much. Now, I'm moving on from Universe Mode, but I feel that needed to be cleared up quite early. The reason why, you know, I, I was most excited was just to simply play the game, to get a first impression, to get a feel of, of how, you know, how good the gameplay is this year. Because there's been, you know, as we get towards the end of WW2K15, we all know there's little faults and errors and glitches and bugs in there. So this was what I was most interested in. And again, in the back of my mind, ticking along, I'm thinking about Saturday Night Main Event, how we produce our matches. And again, for people that want to make universe mode, hopefully this will help you. Um, 
Now, the game is much smoother. That's what it feels already. The reversal system takes a little while to get used to. Um, it's you know, you, you've got like, I think, a maximum of five reversals. Um, once you use them up, then they're all gone. Um, so so it really does play on the case of momentum. And, you know, you've got to wait it out, basically. If, if you haven't got any reversals, you've just got to kind of sit and wait until you build some up and then you can get back in the match. So if you're going to use this, then um, it kind of leaves you open to, to taking a lot of damage and maybe not getting back in the match. Now, something that I had to check out was in the options section. Could this be turned off? Could the reversal, um, you know, the reversal building be turned off? Yes, it can. So for me, for Saturday Night Main Event, if I just want to go back and forth, um, not worrying about reversals, then I can. I can turn it off. So hopefully you guys have had something clarified just now. You can turn off that new reversal system. The pinning system. The pinning system gives you three opportunities. I think we all know that by now, but it, it gets more difficult over time. So when you have sustained a lot of damage, then you only get two chances to kick out. And it does get difficult. I was playing a 2K rep and I found it relatively easy to kick out in that, that, that pinning system as it goes round for the one, two and three. But as it went to one, two, good God, it got very hard indeed. So it will take a bit of getting used to, but um, if you can if you can work out the pressure points, you know where it's going to appear and it spins around. It doesn't seem to move that much. I'll be honest with you. That green little little gauge doesn't seem to move very much. So it can make it quite easy to kick out at times. But when it does pick up speed, when you're seriously damaged, then it can become a nightmare. So a lot of practice will have to be done. I didn't find it too bad. And when I was playing the rep, I think we came to the conclusion that. Some matches could go on forever because you just keep kicking out. But to look at the submission system, well, that is a whole different ball game. Um, it's it's hard. The cat and mouse option is interesting. You know, you've got to kind of chase your opponent once you get into the. I think it's I think it's the 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 blue chases the red. I think it was that way around. But as you do chase them. Um, they can move as well. So, you know, you're using the analog stick, trying to get away, and, um, and you're trying to be tracked down. Oh, it it's hard. I couldn't get used to it. I wasn't a fan of it. So that's something that you need a lot of practice on. 2K reps were saying that as well. It's, it, it's, it's a practice thing to get it perfect. So you will have to get used to that. It's a new feature, and it's something we're going to have to learn. Resiliency is back. Now, that's great. That's awesome for all of us because I was playing the 2K rep. I was in a lot of trouble. I had been hit with a finisher. I was worried that I couldn't kick out with that two count system. And um, yeah, had to use it. Bang, resiliency kicks in, saves the day. That is awesome. So glad it's back, but no stored finishes. They are not back, unfortunately, guys. You also have a recharge option. Um, didn't really see it too much. Only saw it towards the end. Um, when when I was watching other people play, but yeah, you you have this ability when you're completely out, when you're completely done and dusted, you hold down X and it begins to recharge. I think it's your stamina. Um, but I'll have to do some more research on that. But that's an interesting option as well to try and get you back in the match, so to speak. Something that I found absolutely awesome is the breakout system. The breakout system to me was amazing. That was one of the things that I was looking forward to seeing when I was going to test play the game. Um, and it was something I thought, which I came away from being one of the best things I'd seen. Now, I always thought that you had to break out at a certain moment, but you can break out at any moment. I interfered when Triple H was spitting his water. I interfered when Enzo Amore was on the mic. He still continues to cut his promo. I'm running up to attack him. That's how it works. It's awesome. I really like that stat, that actual um, system, and I think it's going to be very useful for universe mode. It, it adds a different element to it, spices up your universe mode. So, overall impressions of the gameplay is very good. We have a ton of reversals, new animations to get used to. I love the fact as well when you try and clothesline someone, they're close to the ropes, you send them 360 over the top rope now. They don't just kind of hang against the rope or they botch out against the rope. A hard clothesline will send them 360 over the top rope. Um, didn't get to play the Royal Rumble. 
Um, but if that works in the same way, good God, you're in trouble. Because if you get caught with one of those clotheslines, you are out, my friend. But that will be interesting to see over time. So my first impressions of the gameplay is it's all very good. I liked it. It's a lot smoother, a lot slicker. The referee seems to be a lot smarter, thank God. The, the amount of times in 2K15 I've just beaten the hell out of him just because he's got on my nerves. Whereas this time he knows when to stay out of the action. It might change once I actually get the game, but first impression with the ref, he stays out the way. That's a good thing. Um, he only gets involved when he needs to. That's a good thing. So the referee seems a lot more intelligent. Didn't get to use managers, but again, it looks like that they will be more intelligent as well. Interfering when they need to, as opposed to just interfering to be a pain. So it's all good. So yeah, guys, that is what I saw. In regards to 2K Showcase, um, I obviously had the presentation. We got to understand the Austin Showcase. I found out more details from Bryce of how the actual process works. And as well, I, I did play the Jake Roberts, Stone Cold Steve Austin, King of the Ring match. And it just looks cool. It's, it's, it's the same. Obviously, you have objectives. It's objective driven. Um, but it's the same as before. But it's a good, I think it's the most in detail, most in depth showcase that we've seen. And that's, that's again, a positive. It's time spent and it looks like they've gone full throttle. I, I would say that, as Bryce said, the foundation was WWE 2K15. And this is the game that we kind of really wanted for WWE 2K15. This feels a lot more polished, a lot more clean, a lot more smooth, and with a lot of the botches missing. There was a few glitchy moments, but not of the level that I've had in 2K15. So yes, thumbs up from me so far. And as I said, I only got to play it for like a couple of hours. So, you know, there's so much to go through. I did as much as I could. My career... Um, the options were there. I had a look at creating my superstar. The create, the create a superstar feature is, is back and it's better than ever. Um, you know, Smack Talks has covered this heavily in his commentary. So if you want to go over and check out his details about the actual create, create a superstar, then I would actually go over there and check him out for more details on that. But it's going to be cool for Dash and Delzinski. Let's put it that way. So guys, if you want to ask me any questions, let me know by the comment section below. I've covered as much as I can. I wanted to clear up universe mode, but really this was about, for me, this event was about playing the game and just getting a feel for it. I think I had three matches against the AI, against the computer, and I had no issues. Every match was a good match. I would say that every match, I didn't, I didn't have a bad match. Playing the 2K reps, they were good matches as well. Nothing like botching out or anything like that. So that's all positive. They're the things that I look out for. And that's what it was all about for me. The first impression of the gameplay. I had to get hands on with it. And I did. So yeah, let me know any questions. Comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. There'll be things that will pop up in my mind. And I'll cover those as well in the comments as well. So all that's left to be said is please rate, comment and subscribe. And this was my first impression of WWE 2K16.